Hi. Today we're going to talk about modular arithmetic, which, put simply, is arithmetic where you care about unevenly divided quantities. Now you might be asking, why is modular arithmetic even a thing? Why do I need to care about it? What is it used for? Well, it's used all the time for capturing those little, those little remainders anytime you divide something. It turns out that those remainders can be linked together in some pretty interesting ways. So first, what is modular arithmetic? Right, well, let's say I have 12 divided by five, right? And if, you know, we, 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 we wanted to do this in the basic, you know, like elementary school way, we'd say, well, that's two because five goes in, uh, five, five times two is 10. And, you know, five goes into 12 twice with a remainder of two. In this case, modular arithmetic focuses on this remainder, right? And, and to write it out in, modular, in the style of modular arithmetic, we'd say 12 mod five equals two. And what this means is the remainder of 12 divided by five is two, right? And this applies to other cases too. For example, we would agree that 22 divided by 5 is also equal to 2. And so in this case, we can say, well, 12 has the same modulus as 22. And, and, and notice how we use a, uh, a triple equal sign, so to speak. This basically represents that, hey, if we're doing modular arithmetic, these two things both get the same result, the same remainder produced. Now, you might say, why, you know, what else can we do with this, right? Well, a great example to know what else we can do with this is, is that we can also go backwards, right? So here, right, 12 divided by five, it's basically saying, hey, 12 is two more than the, the, the next multiple of five, than the nearest multiple of five. We can, all, we can also have numbers that are you know, two or three less than the nearest multiple of five. For example, we can say negative 13 mod five is three less than the next multiple of five. So it has a, a modulus of negative three, a modular result of negative three. In the same way, you can say, well, negative 8 is also 3 less than the nearest multiple of 5. Negative 3 is less than the nearest multiple of 5. Uh, 2 is 3 less than the nearest multiple of 5, and so on and so forth. A great example of where modular arithmetic comes in handy is dealing with clocks, right? So you're looking at your watch and it said, hey, it's been 14 hours since something, right? Well, there's no such, such, such thing as 14 o'clock, right? So what is you know, the time? Well, what we're going to do is perform modular arithmetic using 12, because there are 12 hours in a clock cycle, to get our answer. And 14 is 2 greater than the nearest multiple of 12, which is just 12. So our answer is 2. So 14 o'clock, if I started at 12, would end me back up at 2. So modular arithmetic is a pretty interesting way of thinking about remainders in math, and it opens up a whole other avenue of games. And in fact, modular arithmetic is extremely useful when trying to find the greatest common divisor of two numbers using the Euclidean algorithm. It's a really, really fast method used for a variety of mathematical tasks, including um, both encryption and processing that you use all the time in your computer. So modular arithmetic can be a real lifesaver, especially for securing and encrypting data. But in any case, it's a fun mathematic tool. That's just a nice, new, interesting way to think of something we do all the time, dividing. That's it. I hope you found that interesting and helpful, and I hope you have a great day.